uh, we're out on my stag at 23. We've been uh, about 25 foot of water, stacked up on some muscle bottom, muscle bed bottom, and uh, we're getting to 40. We're, uh, we're about halfway to a limit right now. Uh, Couple boats out here, but as of uh, as of recently, there's been no one out here on this spot. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna have some good action. We got some underwater footage. Guys, the bite's so good we don't even need chum right now. Did you hook one? Look it now. <laughs> Do it now. Okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that was such an oh, ugly fish. That was such an ugly fish. Get in the boat, get in the boat! Here we go. Ooh, I can fly with these flights too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doubled up, baby! That's a nice one. Yo! That was a chip fiberglass. How'd you? Next video, how to, how to patch fiberglass. <laughs> Oh, you don't even understand what we're gonna do now, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He just come off. <laughs> he just. Flying fish. We were just flying fish. Pulled up to. Oh, there you go. Said that. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice one. Twenty six inches. Hold it up. I got a gimp arm, so <laughs> making this work. Hold it up. There you go. Nice. Is it recording? Yeah.
Let's see that. Clean fillets, baby. It's a bunch of them. Bunch of them. Gonna be giving a lot of fish away. That's for sure. Always keep your fillets in salt water, not fresh water. Fresh water deteriorates the fillets, makes them real mushy, no bueno. Always salt water on salt water fish. All right, so the first thing I'm doing here is I'm gonna cut out a little bit of that bloodline. Even though this is fresh fish, it can still add a little bit of a fishy taste, so it's a very thin layer, you just cut it out. I'm just gonna do it on all of these. If you leave a little bit, it's not a big deal because you can barely even taste it. But when there's a lot, it can make a difference. So that's simple and easy. Now we have our pieces and they're boneless and there's no bloodline and now they're ready to cook. Alright, so I'm going to fry these and we don't have a lot of fish so I'm going to use two eggs and I like doing half, bread, or half Italian breadcrumbs and half panko. So there's a half and half split, and then you just mix them together evenly. Now we just gotta whisk up the egg, and then it's time to bread our fish. So it's a quick in the egg. And then straight into the breadcrumbs. Like a push down on it to get the bird from really in the fish. So it sticks good. And then I'll do all these now. Alright, so now that we have them all breaded, typically I let them sit for about a half hour to let the breading stick. So that when you put it in the pan now it'll all fall off. So I'll do that now and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now we have our pan on the stove top. I typically use a non-skin pad or a non-stick pan, but you don't really have to. Anything really works, but that's what I normally use. Now I'll put the heat on around medium, medium high, so I normally do about six. And now I'm using canola oil, and I'm gonna add about that much. And I'll let that heat up, and I'll put the fish in there. All right, so I think my oil is about hot enough in the way I normally test it. I just put a breadcrumb in there. I have it bubbles just like that. Then the fish is pretty much ready to go in, so I'm going to put it in now. So we'll leave them in there for about two and a half minutes on each side. Alright, so it's about time to flip some of the thinner ones, but the thicker ones we got to wait a little bit longer, so... Let's flip the smaller ones, and I'll wait for the other ones a little bit longer. Alright, so it's about time to start flipping the bigger ones too. Now we'll wait another about a minute and a half, and we'll take them all off. Alright, so the smaller ones are about ready to take off, so I'll do that now. Now we'll wait another about 30 to 45 seconds for these bigger ones. Alright, so these are about ready to take off now, so we'll do that. And here's our final product of our fried pork piece. Now I'll just add a little bit of hot sauce to them and they'll taste great. 